Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Majority of us think that health is about looking fit and muscular. This is the mainstream narrative that I see even when you see a gym. It promotes being healthy. But in actuality, it has nothing to do with health. So our perception, the way we perceive health is very different from what actually health is. And a huge part of being healthy is having a healthy and strong immune system. You see, our body has a natural intelligence of healing itself. And that healing energy, you can call that your prana, your life force energy. And when all that energy is being spent on digesting food all the time, and especially the food that we are conditioned to eat by advertising, by a mass hallucination in which society lives in, which is processed food. We never question the narrative that is continuously being pushed. We never question that what are we eating? Is it healthy? Because everyone else is also eating that. So basically you have to first unlearn all the things. Then only you can think in a new way. You can't carry the old and think from a new perspective, especially when it comes to health. So very basic thing, the very first thing, very primary thing to become healthy is to cleanse your body off from the toxins. Because all our lives, majority of us, we have eaten toxins in form of processed food, which is very normalized. So basically we don't want to look at the truth. And another thing is we don't want to take the accountability. Because if we take the accountability of our health, we can't go looking for quick fixes. We will have to start with the fundamental. All the medical industry does is it a quick fix. For example, there is a root of the tree. Now on the tree there are leaves, there are fruits, there are flowers. They just focus on cutting on the flower, cutting on the fruit and they think that the disease is gone. But the underlying energy which the Ayurveda also tells you which is an ancient scripture, that all diseases start from your gut, from your stomach, from what you eat. Because basically, whatever you eat, it goes into your intestine and every toxin gets stuck in your intestine. And if you don't cleanse first, they will never get out of your system. And it will recreate the same disease. And if you go on suppressing it with the medicines, it will take form of a chronic disease. Because your body's intelligence is to throw out the toxins. That's why you get the cold. That's why you get the fever. These are happy diseases. The body is trying to literally get rid of toxins. But when we suppress it, we give birth to a chronic disease. So that is why when you cleanse through any cleansing juice, detoxing juice like celery juice, cucumber juice, if you drink it empty stomach, you give your body the time the space to heal, to throw out the toxins. But rarely people do that because first of all, we don't have any information on that because our information is coming from the mainstream narrative. And the second, we think that the medical industry, the pharmaceutical industry is there to help us. They are really trying to heal us, which is actually a very big illusion. If you really want to be healthy, you have to take accountability of your health. You can't depend on outside authorities, especially the medical system. If you are questioning things, you will understand what I mean by this. You are being forced to inject something in your body. The people who are injecting it on you, they will have no accountability. If you have any side effects, if you die, they will take no blame for that. It's on you. So basically you are a guinea pig. So they don't really care about you understand this. That is why they don't want this information in the mainstream. Look up Dr. Sebi. There are many people who worked hard to get this out there, but they really are deliberate. The powers that be, that this information does not get out, that people do not cleanse themselves, so that people will always stay in a loop of eating junk and eating junk medicine and staying junk because their entire body is filled with toxins. So you're bound to be unhealthy. So the very first thing is to cleanse your body, getting those toxins out of your system. And even if you just 
start searching about it you will find so much information about it but the thing is you have to think differently and as you start thinking differently you will start seeing the health in a completely new way your understanding of it will change drastically if you have everything in the world and if you don't have health what good is your life it should be the number one priority people are literally draining themselves burning themselves burning themselves out in their jobs with their work and their health is continuously falling apart and what good is that money they are making them so understand the value of your health our body is literally made up of energy and it holds its own memory in a way so when all your life you have eaten toxic food processed food so your body has a very different structure at that time your taste buds are different the way your body accepts food is different because it is vibrating at a very different frequency and i have seen that when we go through a spiritual awakening when we connect to our hearts when we are no longer living in survival like animals then our frequency completely changes then the structure of the body the energy of the body the cells of the body the taste buds everything starts shifting and you naturally start feeling inclination towards different kinds of foods literally your soul your spirit guides you to eat differently so in the beginning when you will do this cleanse in the beginning when you will change your diet your old structure will resist because it will be like what is happening to me it is not accustomed to that and when you will cleanse the process is not very smooth it is very opposite of the conventional method because all the toxins will come out on the surface so by that i mean that your body will first go through a happy disease whenever you go through a cleanse whether it is a detox juice in the morning your body will flush out the toxins and when there are so many toxins it will use a fever a cold to get out that from your system so a lot of people get afraid that this is not working for me this is doing the opposite for me maybe this is not for me it is because you don't understand the fundamentals of your body how it functions so you have to be patient with yourself when the toxins are going out of your system you have to let it be patient don't be so quick to eat a medicine and you know just stop it because that's of no use then there is no use of doing the cleanse of doing the detox it's about letting it out of the system and one more thing that we learned from the satvik movement is the power of the body to heal itself which happens when you create room for the life force energy to direct itself towards healing what happens is usually when we keep on eating our majority of our energy is directed towards digestion you can say roughly digestion uses 70% of your energy so when you are constantly eating your energy is directed towards that so a game changer is fasting when you fast your body's energy is free it is no longer occupied in digestion so it can do some other thing which is healing so that is why intermittent fasting is so powerful basically the idea is you take your dinner as early as possible let's just say 6 pm and the next morning you have to take your breakfast at 10 am so now your body is not taking any foods and not digesting anything for 16 hours in those 16 hours the body is free from digesting food definitely it will digest the old food but now it will have a window where it can heal itself this is a very basic understanding but now the thing is our compulsion towards food that we can't stay without food we always want to munch we always want to eat some snacks so this is the part that you will have to take care of you can definitely drink water digestion is connected to the fire element and when the sun is there it is better to eat at that time because the fire element in you is strong at that time it helps you in digestion but we live in a world where our breakfast is like really small and the dinner is the most heavy meal which is upside down so that is why it should be your priority that if you are not able to do it every day definitely once a week twice a week start from there we don't have to be hard on ourselves this understanding should come in you that i have to cleanse my body i have to do something to take it out of my body if you do nothing then it will 
take form of a disease and if you suppress that disease it will take form of a chronic disease and another thing is that the more you create space in your body through fasting the more your immune system also gets stronger your immune system gets stronger by letting the prana the life force energy heal your body your immune system will never get stronger by eating those pharmaceutical medicines they don't want you to know that your natural immunity is powerful they want you to depend on the external things focus on your immunity your natural immunity we are here to live a free life a life of freedom as sovereign beings and a very integral part of freedom is our health we deserve to be healthy to live a healthy life if our physical vessel is healthy then this can become a foundation to connect to our higher selves health is freedom and freedom is health i hope you enjoyed this video you can like comment share you can also support my work by hitting the thanks button and please make sure to subscribe much love to you all